ان سبع عجاف و سبع سنبلات خضر و اخر یابسات یا ایوہ الملو افتونی فی رؤیا ان کنتم للرؤیا تعبون قالو ادغاس احلام و ما نحن بتعویل الاحلام بعالمین وقال الذي نجا منهما وذكر بعد امة انا انبئكم بتاويله فارسلون يوسف ايها الصديق افتنا في سبع بقرات سمان ياكلهم سبع عجاف وسبع سنبلات خضر واخر يابسات لعلي ارجع الى الناس لعلهم يعلمون قال تزرعون سبع سنين دابا فما حصدتم فذروه في سنبله الا قليلا مما تاكلون ثم ياتي من بعد ذلك سبع شداد ياكلن ما قدمتم لهن الا قليلا مما تحسنون ثم ياتي من بعد ذلك عام فيه يغاث الناس وفيه يعصرون وقال الملك اتوني به فلما جاءه الرسول قال ارجع الى ربك فاسالهما بعض النسوه التي قطعن ايديهن ان ربي بكيدهن عليم قال ما خطبكن اذ راوتن يوسف عن نفسه قلنا حاش لله ما علمنا عليه من سوء قالت امرأة العزيز الآن حصحص الحق أنا راوته عن نفسه فاستعصم ولئن لم يفعل وإنه لمن الصادقين ذلك ليعلم أني لم أخنه بالغيب وأن الله لا يادي كيد الخائنين صدق الله وصدق رسوله النبي الامي الكريم my dear respected brothers and sisters in islam last friday we were talking about those two young guys who were there in jail with Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam and they came to him asking for the interpretation of their dreams. And Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salatu was salam, he explained to them what will happen to you. And as it happened accordingly, as he told them, so now, the king himself saw a dream and that was a confusing dream. As I mentioned a few times in my durus and lectures, that in this regard in Tabi'in, there is a great alim who was considered as authentic authority in interpretation of dreams. And his name is Imam Muhammad ibn Sirin, rahmatullahi alayhi. Even the great jurist like Imam Malik ibn Anas, and Imam Abu Hanifa, whenever they saw a dream, they used to ask Imam Muhammad ibn Sirin for their dream. Because I told you that an interpretation of dream, actually, lot of knowledge is not needed. Knowledge to some extent, but number one, purification of your heart. How sanctified is the heart of the person concerned? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspires him that this will be the interpretation of dream. That is number two. And condition number three is we are living here in time and space. So that's why the muhabbir, the interpreter, he is taking into consideration number one, the time. Number two, the space. Number three, the person concerned who saw the dream. 
and these things are logical and reasonable so anyhow sayna yusuf alayhi salatu was salam he was given this talent by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we call it ilm laduni or ilm wahabi which means in english gifted knowledge so that's a gifted knowledge and a gifted wisdom and who has been blessed in such a way by allah he is the luckiest man may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us as well and i can give you a prescription in this regard very easy prescription when i'm telling it but very difficult in practice rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says man amila bima alima a'tahu allah ilma ma lam ya'lam aw kama qala alayhi salatu was salam who practiced accordingly or in accordance with what he has learned according to his knowledge he practiced properly without any flip flop and ping pong yes with full sincerity so allah blesses him with gifted knowledge and that's the case in any any profession look at me if a doctor is md and let's say for example he has done specialization in a specific field but he does not do clinic 2 3 5 6 10 years later he will not be able to tell you what should be eaten for headache got it and even a dispenser who is not a doctor who a dispenser who is practicing as a dispenser he knows more than that type of doctor why because this blessing is coming to everyone from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the profession concerned you are getting what i am saying and that's why i'm saying said that signals are coming down from the upper world but two things are needed number one loneliness you have to sit somewhere alone and alone and number two how much you are focusing on that and he said add it to that it he said that i don't have extra ordinary brain i have like regular and normal brain but the only thing is that i am sitting alone and alone i am focusing and then my brain is catching those signals which are coming down he said that people say idea ideas are in the brain he said no ideas are coming for supernatural power and supernatural power as you know to us that is allah to him that is supernatural power or metaphysical power so just apply the same rule to your own field if you are a muslim whatever you learned you are practicing accordingly then you will see how allah subhanahu wa taala will bless you with the gifted knowledge got it like as you know that i am giving lot of jokes so somebody asked me hisham that where from you are getting these jokes so i told him that this inspiration by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is it okay so anyhow my dear yeah unfortunately i'm getting i'm not getting knowledge i'm getting jokes only so anyhow my dear respected brothers and sisters in islam now when the king he saw the dream and the dream was in the ara sab'a baqarat in siman seven fat cows yakuluhunna sab'un ijafun and seven lean other cows they are eating them up wa sab'a sunbulat on one hand i see seven green ears of grain wa ukhra ya bisat and some others is dry ears of grain and then as you know king is king whatever he is speaking out that is law that is rule there is no written constitution in kingdom is there any no yeah uh, this is the constitution and this is the law whatever that is so anyhow now when he came he was confused so he summoned a emergency meeting of the cabinet and he said i have seen this type of dream just interpret and explain it what is this so now as they were commonly people knowing nothing in this regard so they said adghas wa ahlam confusing dreams it happens 
So I was referring to Imam Muhammad ibn Sirin, rahmatullahi alayhi. He says that dreams are of three types. One is called Hadithun Nafs. What? And Hadithun Nafs is that type of dream. Whatever you are doing at that time, you see the same thing in your dream. Actually, that is imprinted there in your subconscious and subconscious. When the conscience is sleeping, so subconscious, he is working. Got it? Because when the president is out of country, so Kamala Harris, she will be the acting president. So then the subconscious, he becomes the president. So what he is doing, as you know, that sometime the vice president or whosoever is the acting, he is showing some extraordinary actions. And that is the case of subconscious. Hisham, so you are missing the class. So that's why sometimes you pick and sometimes.